today, have you made yourself ready to go? We read of the little virgins. All were virgins. But five wise and five were foolish. Why were five foolish? They thought they had Him. They looked to see Him, Brother Jerry. They must have looked apart. But you got to have that oil applied to your soul. What is that oil? It's the sweet Spirit of the Lord. And He dwells among His children. And He's calling out to mankind today, saying, Come unto Me, all ye ends of the earth, and be ye saved. You see, I believe that if you're lost, you can be saved. God so loved the world, He sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever whosoever, that's anybody that wants to come unto Him. But you'll have to go to Him in prayer. Oh, yeah. You'll have to go to Him seeking with all your heart. I've heard people say, I've tried and I've tried. Can't get the Word. You're not trying hard enough. The day you give me your whole heart, 
I'll be found with you. That's what the Lord said. Welcome tonight to the Antioch Church. No greater place than we'd rather be than in the house of the Lord. Many sick, many not able to come, but here we are, a blessed people. Here we are, just blessed to be under one another's voices, mingling together under an all-wise, merciful God. Love you, Brother Jeremiah. Many prayers has gone up from this church for you. And you also, we welcome all of you. We love all of you. At this time, if there's anybody, we know Sister Juanita Oosley is really sick. We know Brother Nate and has gone down to a funeral in Richmond. They're a boy about 30 year old. He's gone now. His life. I wonder, I wonder. I don't know him. Don't know him. I wonder if he called upon the Lord. I wonder. I wonder. There's a lot of distraction tonight. When I was a boy, my dad would say, if you are in a wreck, or if you are, think you might be leaving, cry out, cry out to him. Yeah. Cry out to him. It was a love he had for his children. I would say to you today, today may be your last day. Cry out to him. I found the greatest friend in Jesus Christ. I found one that goes with me, Brother Randy, closer than a brother, closer than anyone, a mother. I found that love. I found the true one. His name is Jesus. If there's anyone here that knows anyone that needs prayer, that wants the church to pray, but see, see, I believe that prayer changes things. We want to remember the family of Brother Danny Martin. He was a good friend to us. A good brother. And now he's gone. He's gone. Many of you may not know, Brother, brother Danny died about a year ago. And Brother Nathan that belongs here was there and brought him back. Brought him back. And he was up at the Samaria Church visiting that day. And he, and he, he died right there. And he told, him, he told him, he said, if I go again, don't bring me back. Don't bring me back. See, it's sweeter to the children of God a little farther on. This world is full of problems, troubles, and heartaches. Danny had lost his little boy, divorced from his wife, lived a pretty hard time in this world. Some things he didn't have to go through, but the traditions of men forced him to. Shame on them is all I can say. I thought about that, Richie, since he's been passed. Shame on some of the men. Listen, men and women, God loves you. He's unconditional. He loves you. Amen. We love and we look and we judge. He looks in our hearts and He judges. Right. He is the righteous one. Only Him. And it is all in Him. I hope you feel welcome here. You are welcome here. Amen. I hope you feel the love of God. I hope you feel His sweet spirit while you're here. I do. I felt it. Brother Will was singing. Brother James was singing. I can feel His sweet spirit. I love to be among God's people no matter where they're at. Anyone? Lynn and Barbara Frazier. A member of my family, a uh, uh, young lady, uh, especially uh, Tina Case, that's uh, had two sister-in-law her husband got killed, murdered over there, Martin. She's up there in the ICU, back in the hospital, in the hospital condition. Remember me, Brother Graham, and now we're children. We're glad you're here, Brother Sean. We're glad your little children are here. It says, there's no greater place to be than in the house of the Lord. No greater place to be. Sister Michelle. We want to remember Sister Michelle. She's been sick. We love her. And I love the dream that you said you had. I read it. And I believe it's true. I believe it's true. Welcome, Brother A. Well, anyone else? Yeah, let's remember God. I mean, he did need love in his life. But he wasn't able to stay in there today when they got ready to pass the crap. Remember, um, 
Yeah, Lita is an ant. It's really bad. <coughs> Anyone else? Like for the truth, remember my mom, she still having a lot of trouble. That's it all. <coughs> brother Will. Yeah. yeah, Brother Will's sick. I want to remember Brother Jason, he's still sick. He's um, battling some problems. God's able to remove cancer. There's a man that I rent off of in Lexington, my business. He, um, his wife is, they moved hospice in on it. And he's been married for 53 years. And he said, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I talked to him, I talked to him and I've asked him, have you ever tried to talk to the Lord? He don't really, profess a hope he don't really go to church but he told me one day he said you know I was sitting out back and I started talking to God and he said I was, my wife was in the hospital he said I did what you said and he said I said Lord are you there are you there he said he was flipping through his phone and he said look at this picture all at once a rainbow just appeared and it hadn't even rained he said, he was letting me know, wasn't he, Jerry? I said, God knows. He hears all. He hears all. He told me this week, he said, I don't know what I'm going to do without her. Hospice is moving in. And I told him, I said, if you'll call out to God, you'll find a peace that the world don't understand. You'll find a peace that's just unexplainable. Amen. When joy comes in your heart, you want the world to know about it. You want everybody to know. I'm no longer what I was. I'm seeking a city not made with hand. Are you seeking that city tonight? I hope you are. I hope you are. But we'll lead us in a word of prayer and we'll go from there.